Hi, it's Andrew Rondo here from We Build Your Blog, and in this short video, I'm going to share with you just to change some of your settings for your blog, so it just so you can set it up how you want it to look. Uh, so I've logged into my into the WordPress uh, blog dashboard, and if you go over here, you'll see it says Flex Theme, and that's the theme we've used to create your blog, and Settings. So we click on Settings, and then what comes up is the settings for your menu builder and your menu builder is basically what pages you want to display on your menus and what categories now I haven't got any categories here but if you remember in the layout video I could have had categories at the bottom or at the top as well and what this does is basically if you check what pages and what categories if you check them they will be displayed up here so if I was to, so at the moment I've got home, contact and search. And you can see I've got home, contact and search. And if I was to click disclaimer and save it, then disclaimer would come up here as well. Now I don't have my categories displayed here. Uh, so, but if, you, if I did on the layout side of things, I'll go to the layout very quickly. So I've just got pages and header. If I was to say categories and header or pages, categories and header, then the pages and the categories which get displayed, go back to settings, is determined by what's checked in these boxes here. So if you want to add a page to your, not actually add a page, but add a page to your, uh, to your, um, to your site, then that's how you do it. I'll show you how to add a page in, a, in another video and how to add a category in another video. Now the other thing is you can do on, depends on the theme, but you can change the color scheme. So here I've got some sort of, looks like a light, very powder pinky sort of color at the bottom half here. So I can go and change that. So if I say here, I can have a background style And I can have the default and it will come up with the default and this is the default or I can choose my own so my background color is this color here which is this pinky color here that's the default it's just showing you the difference so I can now go and decide what sort of color I want um, so if I wanted a bluey sort of color and then I can just decide what sort of colour I want. Um, let's have a look at the site. It's it's fairly. So I'm going to choose that colour there. So you save it, and then you save the options. it's saved now these other things here you don't really have to worry about them um, tracking code is um, how you we track Google Analytics search engine optimization that sort of things all been set up so you don't have to worry about those so the only thing here is your pages your categories and if you want to change the color or the background image and if I do a refresh of this page it sometimes takes a little while to change to sort of replicate that across the um, across the domain but it hasn't there we are you can see that um, it's changed color to the one I picked so that's the color I picked and that's now the color I've got so you can change the color quite easily and that's it really on the settings so that's how you 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 add your pages you add your categories to the menus not actually adding pages or adding categories but this is once you've added or created a page or create a, a category, that's how you add them up here in your menus. So that's it for now, and I shall speak to you soon. It's Andrew Rondo, we build your blog. Thanks, bye.